January 20th, 2009. Uh, last summer, I built an electric car, which has been great. I use it for all my uh, short trips, errands, riding around town, but uh, I don't have the range that I need for uh, further trips. I do already have a pickup truck, which I was getting 31 miles per gallon in all summer, and it's great, except it runs on gasoline, and I'd really like for it to run on biofuels, which essentially means you need a diesel engine to do that. So behind me here is a 1976 diesel Mercedes-Benz that I bought a couple of weeks ago. It's got a four-cylinder engine in it, and what I'm planning on doing is taking the engine out of this Mercedes and putting it into my pickup truck. Now, one problem with diesels, though, is they're not great in the winter. They're kind of hard to start. Everybody says you definitely want to have a block heater, uh, keep it in a garage if you've got one. Um, one issue I had was when it was cold last week, I tried starting the the diesel Mercedes here. I could not get it to start no matter what. I did see that it had a, a block heater cord on it, but ironically, the other end is not plugged in. So now I've got it uh, jacked up and we're gonna see if I can uh, figure out where the other end of that cord's gonna go. Try it out and see if we can get the block heater going on this thing. Another thing nice about this car is that it came with a brand new extra large interstate battery with uh, an awful lot of uh, cold cranking amps to it. The car also came with a real nice, uh, very beefy brand new starter. So right here you can see is the plug for the electric block heater for the car. So now what I'm gonna do is just uh, follow the cord. It's zip tied down in a couple of places tied around but getting to the end of the cord you can see it's right here it's not actually plugged into anything so I got the car jacked up uh, I dug around in there I figured out where it plugs in well I just got the block heater plugged in on the engine end uh, I'm pretty sure it's in all the way but it's really hard to tell it's just very very difficult to get at but this plug here should now be plugged into the uh, block heater on the engine end. And right here I have a device called a kilowatt. And this allows you to see how much energy you're pulling from the wall. I'm gonna put it over to watts and then I'm gonna plug this in and we'll see if it pulls any power or not. Sure enough, um, it's pulling 375 watts right now. So it looks like this is a uh, supposed to be a 400 watt block heater and it's uh, it's plugged in uh, So we'll let this run a couple of hours um, I'll check on it every once in a while and then uh, try starting it up later today when it's uh, been warmed up for a while Okay, I've had the car uh, running on the block heater for about an hour and 20 minutes It used a little bit less than uh, half a kilowatt hour of electricity Which is about five cents worth I just turned the key to the on position. And then over here, uh, that knob is the starter. It also runs the glow plug. So if I pull it out to not quite the position where it starts the car, uh, so this is the run position, a little bit more makes the glow plugs go. And up here with the uh, battery light, I see it dim a little bit. So I know I'm pulling amps from the batteries to, uh, from the battery to run the glow plugs. So I just uh, keep holding it out for a little bit here, wait for those glow plugs to glow up. And over here, this thing starts to glow when the glow plugs are ready. So now I'll give it a pull all the way out to run the starter. And there we go, car starts right up. So it sounds like the car is uh, running pretty good, starts right up when I got the block heater. So the next thing is going to be uh, fitting this engine and transmission into my pickup truck and doing all the fabrication, everything that needs to be done to make that happen. So I'll make another vehicle when I start working on that and let you guys know what's going on.